Hey guys, what's up? So, <clears throat> sometimes genius is defined as something like great and fantastic and it becomes something wonderful. Um, sometimes it becomes something crazy and who knows what. Today might be one of those days where it's crazy or it might be like, whoa, that's completely worthless but very interesting. I think I'm going to be able to use this Beretta 92 magazine in my Glock 48. I think. Let's talk about it. Okay, so how did this happen? Well, I was changing out the uh, the magazine release. Uh, Tyrant Design sent me a steel magazine release, apparently. Um, they're making steel ones now, so this would be pretty cool. So I changed this guy out. I don't even remember what got me thinking about it, but I have, you know, I test fitted everything, it worked. And I looked up on the shelf, and I saw this Beretta 92, FS, SF, I think it's FS, I don't remember, um, magazine sitting there, and I was like, huh. I remember, was this uh, mil spec mojo right in one of um, Grand Thumb's videos? He 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 grabbed a, I think it was a Sig magazine right, stuck it up in a in a Glock 19 style gun and just and it worked. And I was like, eh, that'd be interesting. So uh, I took the magazine and hey, kind of fit in the gun right. Doesn't doesn't lock in, but it fit up in there. I was like, well, I wonder what happens if you kind of you know put some upper pressure on it and rack it. And lo and behold, he's right there. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. And so I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, yeah, it fits up in there. I mean, there's not, there's a little bit of forward and backward slop, but uh, he kind of sits there, and if you hit the magazine release, or slide release, so far, it's working. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> I've got several of these, and I figured, well, Worst case scenario, one of them will be broken. Well, it won't really be broken. It just may not work as well because I'm, all I'm going to do is cut a little window in it. Best case scenario, I figure out that you can use Beretta magazines in a Glock 43X48. I don't know. So we're going to do this real quick. Basically, all I did is I measured the distance um, from where the magazine fits into the gun right down here. Okay, I measured this distance to the cutout that Shield has on their on their magazines, okay? So I kind of measured that distance, I kind of marked it out. I'm gonna mark it out a little bit better. I'm gonna cut it, and we'll see. This could be really stupid, or this could be really cool. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit, and uh, we're, we're gonna do this. This will be interesting, interesting, interesting. Off the cuff, here we go. All right, test fit time. Here we go. We got the little cut, right? We got the empty gun. Let's see first, will it fit? Guys, look. Listen, 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 listen. You get it up in there, listen. I'm not touching the magazine release, I'm just gonna push it up, listen. My word. Oh, now it won't come out. Well, let's see, hold on. Let's just see. Magazine in the gun, clips in there. Dry cycle. Dry cycle. Yep. All right, there's no last round bolt holding open. Oh my word! <laughs> I don't know what we just did, but uh, that's kind of interesting. I have no idea. Like, okay, like you can go out and get, you can go out and get you some Shield Arms magazines, which I completely advocate. I love those things. I carry those things. I trust those things. I use those things. But we just did a dilly do uh, little magazine thingy. Okay, you can go shooting across the room. I'll never get these back. But here goes one. Yep. Here goes two. And he goes three. Again, no last round bolt hold open. Okay, you gotta use your thumb, right? And they don't drop free. 
But if you're in a pinch, these might work. That's crazy. I can't wait to get out and actually shoot these things because a lot of times you could dry cycle things and you can do some stuff and uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, and a lot of times dry cycling, right, doing stuff on a workbench and seeing how it works, it seems to be fine. But until you actually get out and run the gun, it may work, it may not. This, there is some slop in here, right? And see the, that slop? There's definitely slop. Now, if you take a, this is a loaded magazine, I don't know how much a difference that'll make, but uh, there's slop in there too. Guys, this could be crazy. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'm going to shut up. I'm about ready to die on the battery. And uh, next time you see me, hopefully we'll be shooting these things on the range. Stand by.